Brand new surveillance video released of a road rage attack that got a former sheriff's lieutenant and his son arrested. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ashley Glass. And I'm Paul Legron. Jameson and Wendy are off tonight. All new at 5. ABC Action News reporter Adam Weiner walks us through the video that was really the key to deputies making the arrest. The entire attack was caught on camera. You can see a man pull into a Pasco County gas station. Seconds later, he's blocked in, then dragged out of his car, held in a chokehold, and thrown to the pavement. He didn't know anybody, and all of a sudden two people are essentially attacking him. Witnesses called 911, and when deputies got there, they at first assumed the guy on the ground must be the one up to no good, especially since the one holding him down was a former deputy until they saw this video. Looking at the video, we quickly almost had a 180 degree uh, change here and say, OK, now, now we're looking at this differently. That victim spoke to ABC Action News last night. He asked us to conceal his identity. He says this all started when he gave the finger to a woman who cut him off. Deputies say she then followed him to this gas station and asked her family members, former Lieutenant Peter Sayucci and his son Nicholas, to join her. They threatened me and then started to just, they just, they just beat the hell out of me, man. I mean, that's really, it's just, they just two vigilantes that decided to take the law into their own hands. Captain James Steffens was disheartened to see what he says is a retired law enforcement officer stooping to senseless violence. Because we're trained in defense, self-defense, we're trained in discretion, we're trained in de-escalation. Whether or not we're still active, we have that training when we're not active anymore. Several witnesses saw the attack, but deputies believe Sayuchi told at least one person he was former law enforcement, and so no one stepped in to stop him. Lieutenant Sayuchi worked for over 20 years for the Hernando County Sheriff's Office before retiring a few years ago. But before that, he worked right here at the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. In Pasco County, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News.